how do they do that? Questions you wanted to ask, answers we set out to get. Masters of the Big Bang, how the special effects experts achieve scorching scenes like this. She capsized nine times, but it didn't dampen her spirits. How Lisa Clayton sailed around the world solo. A girl's best friend, a talking computer. How technology's helping little Natalie lead a normal life. And how British world champion Jonathan Edwards hop skipped and jumped his way into sporting history. All these stories and more tonight on How Do They Do That? Welcome to How Do They Do That? Now, Idris. Now, imagine what it must be like to be born without the ability to control your legs, your arms, or even to speak, unable to reveal the intelligence that's trapped inside. It's a prospect which would daunt the bravest of us. But here's a story about a little girl who, with the help of her parents, some dedicated teachers, and a bit of technology, defied all these restrictions to make her claim for a normal life. And here's how she did it. This is the Sides family from Barrow and Furness. Nine-year-old Natalie has a severe form of cerebral palsy. She has no control over her arms or legs, and she cannot speak. Doctors told her parents, Joe and Susan, that she would never be able to lead a normal life. But they were determined to give Natalie every chance they could. She's our child. We, you know, we love her no matter what, what, what they class her as, whether she's cerebral palsy, normal or, or what. She, she's our child, and we're going we're gonna to do what we can for her. Today, Natalie attends the local primary school and takes part in the classes along with all the other children. It's a remarkable achievement that no one could have predicted. How did she do it? Can you remember what you were doing last night? Even though Natalie couldn't speak, her speech therapist, Helen Dixon, was able to assess her intelligence. How? Helen taught Natalie a communication technique known as eye pointing. Hmm. Can you find Dusty for me? That's right. Basically, she uses her eyes to indicate what she wants. It was the way that Natalie was using this technique that gave Helen the vital clues. Tell us. It was really fairly obvious that she had intelligence when she started at the school because she was so interested in what was going on and she did pick things up very quickly, like using the pictures to communicate. But eye pointing only works with people who know Natalie extremely well. Yet she can take part in lessons and say exactly what she wants. How? Through her communication aid called ORAC. It's a computer that she can program to speak. She started at a very basic level. Well, this is one of the very early ones that were using recorded voice. Natalie used this to read the story in assembly. We recorded one of her friend's voice in and all Natalie had to do was press the switch and the machine would read the story. She went around the pond. She went under the beehive. Natalie soon outgrew her early programme. Now she can say exactly what she wants. Which one? Right, so tell me how many rabbits there were on Walmart. And she can work the computer even though she can't control her hands. How does she do that? Like this, with her knees. She uses her knees to operate a pad which is attached to the ORAC. With her left knee, Natalie moves the light along the keyboard until she finds the square she wants. Then with her right knee, she clicks another pad and displays the chosen number or word. It's a laborious process, but reveals how bright Natalie really is. Fish. Well done, fish. OK. The ORAC is tremendously important. It helps her join in all her lessons. Without it, she could be here, but she couldn't really be joining in. She couldn't really be doing what she's doing, really. It's, it's very, very satisfying knowing that she's got the equipment to overcome the problems that she has got. Otherwise, it would be, become very, very frustrating, not only for her, but also for us as a family. Now, Natalie understands the machine better than anyone else around her and is impressing her teachers and her parents alike. She just tries so hard. Everything that you give her, she just tries. And if she does it, wonderful. But if she can't do it, it's not for lack of trying. Now she can live life to her full potential and no parent could wish for more. So how does it feel to see Natalie at school today, playing and learning with the other children? 
I think you get two feelings that sort of hit home. One's, one's great pride, another one's a, a great sense of achievement, knowing uh, that she can, she can hold her own within children of her own peer group in a mainstream school with somebody with her disability, it must be a colossal task. But now, thanks to her computer friend, Natalie has no difficulties making new friends. Hello, my name is Natalie. <laughs> and Natalie is here with her family this evening. Hiya, Natalie. Join every moment of a 